to blend or mix materials, textures, or images using vertex color. As we're dealing with materials and their appearance on the mesh, we first need to make sure that our object is UV unwrapped how we expect the material or the image texture to appear on the mesh. So make sure that's set up first. Once that's done, we need to assign a basic material. So material properties, if a material does not already exist or isn't assigned to the mesh, create one using the plus button or the new button that would be here, and that will populate the panel. We've already got a material, so let's just call this blend. Once we've got that in shading workspace, we want to edit the nodes. So there is our object. We want to add an image texture to this. So add texture, image texture. So add texture, image texture. And just load in the image that we're going to be blending. So this is the first image of the two that are blended together. So let's select, open, drag and drop, so we can see our assignment. Make any corrections to the UV as appropriate. So UV editing. Display mode. Select. Select 180 to make sure it's the right way up. Same again. Rotate R 180. So they're all the right way up. This just ensures that when we do the blending, that the blend materials are not back to front or backwards relative to one another because the UVs are upside down. So back in shading workspace. So there is our object. And this is our basic material that we start from. So we've got our initial image that's going to be blended to. So for our blend material, we need to add another texture node. So add texture, image texture. Load in the second image that will be blended to the first. Open. And that's our second image. And then to this group, we want to add input color attribute. So add input color attribute. Select, drop that into place. To this, we then want to add a second node. Add color, mix color. So add color, mix color. Drop that in. And then what we want to do here initially is connect color output from the color attribute and connect that to fac or factor. And then the color output from the second image texture Plug that into input B. Let's just go into. So that's what we have so far. And then for the mixing, what we need to do is decouple the initial image texture. Let's move that over there so it's where we can get access to it. And then click drag color output, connect that to a input of the mix color node. And then all we need to do to finish this, click drag result and link that to base color input. 
So the material will appear on the mesh based on the initial material that's assigned. This is our basic mix material. And let's tidy this up a little bit to make it easier to see. So we've got image one, image two, they are connected to a mix color. A mix color is basically controlled by color attribute. And all of these as a group are connected to base color input of the principled BSDF. All we need to do next to actually start the mix process, let's go back into layout to make this easier to see. Switch mode. Make sure the object is selected. And then change from object mode to vertex paint mode. So object mode, vertex paint. This will bring up the tools and the image might swap. And that's based on the default. So it's mixing based on a black or white. So what we can do to fix that or address that is just change the color black and then just paint on the mesh and this is mixing our images and we could do complete replacement so that's one half that's the other half and it's mixed we can change that painting it white and that'll revert and that is the basics of blending materials textures or images using vertex colors